IIF is short name for the immediate if function. The IIF function replicates the functionality of an if statement. Here is the syntax. If the expression equates to true, then the value in the true part is returned. Otherwise, the value in the false part is returned. For example, let us classify customers based on age. On the Create tab in the Queries group, click on Query Design. Add the table Customers. Add the fields First Name, Last Name and DOB. In the field row, right click on an empty column and then click on Zoom in the shortcut menu. Enter this expression. Use the year and date function to calculate the age of the customer. If the age is greater than or equal to 18, the value in the true part that is adult is displayed. If the age is less than 18, then the value in the false part that is child is displayed. Run the query. Adult or child is displayed in the age group column. When using IIF function, you can leave the false part blank. For example, we have checkouts table which has a due date field that contains the date a particular book is supposed to be returned. To find the books that are overdue, we can use the IIF function. In the field row, right click on an empty column and then click on zoom in the shortcut menu. Enter this expression. False part is left blank. Run the query. Overdue is returned when due date is less than current date, else blank is returned. You can use IIF function to avoid mathematical errors. For example, this query performs a calculation on the actual and the forecast fields to calculate percent forecast. Run the query. As you are dividing actual by forecast, you will get division by zero errors when forecast is zero. To avoid these errors, you can use the IIF function to evaluate the forecast field before performing the actual calculation. Use this expression. This IIF function tests for forecasts with a value of zero and bypass them when performing the calculation. If the forecast is zero, the function returns a zero, else the percent forecast is calculated. Run the query. Division by zero errors are avoided and a zero is displayed for percent when forecast is zero. Sometimes the condition you need to test for is too complex to be handled by a basic if-then-else structure. In such cases, you can use nested IIF functions, that is IIF functions that are embedded in other IIF function. This expression displays age groups 0 to 17, child, 18 plus adult. To display age group as 0 to 17 kid, 18 to 65 adult, 65 plus senior, use this expression. This function checks to see if value is less than 18. If true, child is returned. If not, second IIF function is triggered. The second IIF function will check to see if value is greater than or equal to 65. If true, senior is returned. If not, adult is returned. Run the query. Adult, senior or child is returned. There is no limit to the number of nested IIF functions you can use. The switch function is very simple to use without nesting of functions like IIF. Here is syntax. The switch function argument list consists of pairs of expressions and values. The expressions are evaluated from left to right and the value associated with the first expression to evaluate to true is returned. Rewrite the nested IIF with switch. If none of the expressions in the switch function evaluate as true, the function will return a null value. Run the query. 
for age between 18 and 65 a null value is returned because none of the expressions include those numbers to avoid this scenario you can add a catch all expression and provide a value to return if none of your expressions are true use this expression Adding true as the last expression will force the value adult to be returned instead of a null value if none of the other expressions are true. Run the query. For age between 18 and 65, adult is returned. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.